Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here and welcome back to another video. And today we're doing yet another LEGO discussion video. Now for those of you who do not know, LEGO discussion is basically a new uh, series that is on my channel in which we talk about events and things going on in the LEGO community and just with LEGO sets in general. Uh, last week's episode was on the Battle Pack, Star Wars Battle Pack price increase. And this week's episode, we're going to be talking about remaking you Lego Star Wars UCS sets. So, um, like um, all videos in the series, it is definitely a viewer-derived uh, series where uh, it's also uh, mainly with you guys, um, the viewers. And so in the description, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this um, uh, topic down in the comments below. What do you guys think? Should Lego Star Wars UCS sets be remade? So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we get started, actually, I want to uh, do is get some terminology out of the way. There, you can either re-release a LEGO set, which is basically when you just pretty much uh, release the same set um, after a certain amount of time, and it's basically the exact same as the previous one, maybe updated minifigures and a few very minor updated details, and that's kind of what's seen with the Death Star. And then there is remaking a set where you just completely redesign it. So, you know, you make it more accurate, uh, fix like uh, the overall like features of it, make it a bit more stable, you know, aesthetics, make it again, a, a bit nicer looking, more accurate um, compared to the previous build. So you're pretty much changing everything, um, but kind of like just keeping the very basic design, but for the most part, you're kind of changing it, adding uh, new parts. Um, and again, as I said, aesthetics, um, just making it a bit more accurate. So that's remaking it. So um, let's get into a bit of quick history. Lego, um, many folks might not know, but Lego um, has remade a UCS set before, 26, or before 2016. In 2013, actually, they remade the Lego UCS X-Wing Starfighter. Um, but again, this was a remake, not a re-release. As you can see, the one on the left is a 2001 UCS one, and the one on the right is a 2013 one. So it's just a significant improvement, many more updated parts. Uh, overall, the design is much more accurate, uh, and also the colors are much more accurate. So that is uh, what was the first one. And then in 2016, they remade, uh, or sorry, re-released the UCS Death Star, or the Lego Death Star, which technically in 2008 wasn't a UCS set, but then they made it one. And that kind of got people really upset um, as it was just the exact same set with new minifigures. And now in 2016, or 2017, sorry, we are getting news that there's going to be a new UCS Millennium Falcon and UCS Snow Speeder. And these are both going to be remakes. So what um, is the LEGO community thinking of this? Well, this is the big topic. Lego, the Lego community is divided over this issue. There are for people who are for remaking UCS sets, and there are people who are against remaking UCS sets. So let's get started with the people who are against remaking UCS sets. Now, a few reasons uh, why they are against it. For one, uh, it kind of loses the exclusivity, exclusive ability, the exclusive just like uh, value of the set, as well as kind of like. Um, the uniqueness of the design because now with the new UCS Snow Speeder coming out this one and that one kind of blend together so you know um, before you just had a very unique very cool set in your collection but now you, the, the set's kind of just remade so it's kind of like blends in like you know uh, and that kind of just again loses the exclusiveness of the set and also uh, what many resellers are upset about is now the price for the old one which is like seven eight hundred bucks it's going to go down since the new one only costs 200 bucks. So I'm guessing this old one is going to split in half in terms of price, if not even less. So uh, definitely the price is going to go down, and that also got many resellers upset. And third, uh, many folks see it as a, a wasted opportunity, as they feel now they're going to have to wait even longer to get a brand new UCS set. So like, for example, the UCS Snowspeeder and Millennium Falcon are coming out this year. So in order to get a brand new UCS set of a vehicle we have not got in the past, they're going to have to wait a whole year. So that's also what's gotten people upset. You're making remaking sets and that kind of like takes away from just releasing brand new ones. And then there are folks who are for 
remaking UCS sets. They're the folks who kind of missed out on it in the past. So they're kind of happy. They don't have to spend like, for example, if the Millennium Falcon spent thousands of dollars to get it, they can just, you know, uh, buy it again in this case for like whatever, 600 bucks, which is significantly cheaper. And they're also kind of like happy because it's also updated, has more uh, accurate features. Overall, the design is a lot better as seen with, again, the X-Wing. So that's kind of what uh, people are also really happy about, and that's what the pro side is. So what are my thoughts on this issue? Well, I don't have as strong of an opinion. Now, I am actually fine with LEGO remaking LEGO UCS sets. Now, not re-releasing like they do the Death Star. I don't like that at all. But remaking a set, adding more features, uh, making the overall design more accurate, uh, making it more stable, that all I'm fine with. But I don't want LEGO to use it as a crutch. So what I mean is, I don't want now LEGO for the next few years just remaking all of the LEGO Star Wars UCS sets. That's what I don't want. What I want is maybe every five, six years, once in a while, LEGO can remake a UCS set. But for the most part, just release brand new UCS set uh, ships and models. That's what I want. So don't use this as a crutch. So, you know, again, don't... Uh, yeah, so basically remake a UCS set every once, five, six years, whatever, uh, once in a while, not all the time, but for the most part, just re, uh, sorry, release brand new UCS sets. So that's kind of what I think. Um, but anyways, what are your thoughts on this topic? Do you think Legos should remake UCS sets? Do you think they should, like I have, um, remake them every five, six years? Or do you think they should just not at all remake UCS sets and just uh, keep uh, coming out with new ones and not at all release or remake the old ones? So what are your thoughts about that? I'd love to hear about that down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. And again, if you've not checked my previous LEGO discussion video out, which is on LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack price increase, definitely check that out. Link in the description below. So this is BrickWizard59, thank you so much for watching, stay tuned for more videos coming very soon, and anyways, I'll see you all next time.